We're going to Georgia. Title says, man wanted for allegedly tying Airbnb host with zip ties, robbing him, robbing him at gun, gunpoint. Sorry. True Crime Daily, published October 5th, 2023. Uh, this is in Gwinnett County. And it says, uh, police are searching for a man, they allege, bound his Airbnb host with zip ties, then took his wallet while holding him at gunpoint. According to Gwinnett County Police, on September 26th at 10.05 p.m., Khalil Hamilton checked into his Airbnb on Seedway. He was renting the basement space from the victim, Jason Ling. At 10.45 p.m., Hamilton allegedly texted Ling and told him the toilet was leaking. Ling went to the basement bathroom to fix the problem, and when he turned around, Hamilton reportedly had a black handgun and a white taser pointed at him. Ling told police Hamilton forced him to get on the ground. Then, Hamilton allegedly bound his hands and feet with zip ties. The arrest report says Ling told Hamilton he could take whatever you want, just don't hurt me and my family. Ling's son and mother were in the residence when the uh, purported robbery occurred, but they did not witness it. Ling's son and mother, uh, sorry, Hamilton allegedly demanded Ling to give him his wallet, money, and cards. Ling told him where, th where uh, to find the wallet so that Khalil would not hurt him or his family. Hamilton got the wallet from upstairs, then returned with Ling's backpack. Before he left, Hamilton allegedly told Ling, you're a dumbass. Ling ultimately escaped by twisting and turning his wrist. When he freed himself, he ran upstairs and called police. Ling had surveillance foot a footage of Hamilton, which he shared with police. Hamilton is believed to be traveling in a late 1990s Honda Accord with a Texas license plate that does not belong to his vehicle. Um, yeah, sorry, that voice you probably hear is, uh, my wife, so, uh, you might hear me speak a little louder, but, um, he called him a dumbass, yet Ling ultimately escaped by twisting and turning his wrist, and he has surveillance footage of Hamilton was just a perpetrator and uh, he gave it to the police so who is the dumbass really and I'm still kind of confused as to why did he call him that like I, I don't understand I'm not a fan of Airbnb not one bit it's anyone that has Airbnbs they take this as a perfect example as to why you should not have one and not even waste your time with that. If you don't only see like the stories I've seen on TikTok, uh, the people recording the conditions of houses after someone rented it through Airbnb is crazy. So is it really worth it? Both ways. Is it really worth someone renting an Airbnb to have to pay like a cleaning fee? Is it worth you being the owner of the house and now having to re uh, do and rebuild or rebuy a whole bunch of shit because you can't use it anymore because the people that stayed there that rented that Airbnb that night they completely destroyed the place or I saw one that they shit on the walls. What is it with people shitting on the walls? If you've noticed, if you've been watching since the beginning of the stream, I've already mentioned it like two or three times already. I don't know why people do that. They smear shit on walls. That is so crazy. But nonetheless, uh, he definitely is a dumbass. I I don't understand. He rented the Airbnb. He probably paid him too, because you have to. Don't you have to like pay up front? I've never done Airbnb, but. If you stay at a hotel, you kind of have to pay up front before you stay there. So I can only imagine that there had to be some type of monetary exchange before this person stayed at the house. So you paid the money and did all the paperwork and shit like uh, registering through Airbnb. Like you gave all of your information like that to do this and get probably caught because there's surveillance footage with your picture, your your picture's like online, bro. 
I don't understand. Your name, like your government name is posted. What did you think was going to happen? Dumb criminals.